everybody and welcome back to another episode of Daily Life with Deb. Today I'm going to be sharing with you another simmer pot recipe. This one is a, what I call a mold cider simmer pot. It has apple slices and orange peel and a few other spices and that in there to make it smell well like mold cider. It's perfect for fall and I thought what a better time to do this than right now the first part of November when we're really really in the middle of fall and before we really start our Christmassy stuff. I mean, I know a lot of people are starting Christmas right now, but I still have several fall recipes before we get into the winter, the winter season. So, but before we get started, what I'd like for you to do, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it if you would go and subscribe to my channel, like my videos, feel free to leave a comment on any of them. If you have a question or a suggestion, a tip for something something I could do better or you know maybe you all have another method for doing the things that I'm showing them. Feel free to share whatever you know your experience if you try the things that I show in the videos. I really really want to turn this channel into a community where homemakers of all different skill levels and homesteaders as well just get together to share ideas and tips and hacks and that sort of thing and if you all have um, any other suggestions for like video content like in the future um, feel free to put a request in I may or may not be able to do it but if it's within my ability I will definitely definitely um, consider putting it out there so yep don't forget to just like my like and subscribe like I said and um, share any of these videos that you think for your friends or anyone would be interested in I would really appreciate that. So let's get started if you all are ready. What we're going to do, first thing is uh, we'll take an apple and the good thing about this is your apples do not have to be in their prime. You may have one like this one that's getting a little old, kind of ugly, even some bruised. I wouldn't put, like if they're getting rotten, I would not use it, but um, you could cut like if half of it's rotten cut the half off it's bad and just use the other half if it's still good so we're going to put about three or four slices of apple in in the pan and add two or three cinnamon sticks these ones i'm actually going to go ahead with three two would probably really be enough but i'm doing three because i've actually used these previously in another simmer pot but they still pretty much just smell like cinnamon, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can actually reuse some of your spices, specifically your cinnamon sticks, as long as they don't pick up too much of the other scents in, from the other simmer pot, or else if they're very similar. Because a lot of these simmer pots are very similar. They use a lot of the same spices, but they might just use a little something, that, a little something different from one recipe to the next. And you can reuse your cinnamon sticks. But if you're going like from the coffee shop one, to uh, yeah like this one I, I wouldn't recommend that so three or four slices of apple two or three cinnamon sticks and now here we have different options for I meant to get this out earlier you can also add three or four slices of orange if you would like or what I'm going to use is dried orange peel if you have dried orange peel this is granules, so I'm going to use about a tablespoon of granules. If you have like little chunks or even slice, if you have dried slices, use the same two or three slices. If you have the chunks, I might put two or three tablespoons in. I don't think you can get quite as much in a spoon if it's chunks. So we have three or four slices of apple, two or three cinnamon sticks. I put a tablespoon of granulated um, orange peel. The other option would be like 10 to 20 drops of orange essential oil so since i have them both i'm going to go ahead and add just like three or four drops of orange oil just to give it a little bit of a boost so you can use fresh orange dried orange or orange essential oil it really doesn't matter and then i thought i had whole allspice but i realized i'm out so if you have whole allspice I would put in about 10, 10 to 15 of the allspice berries. Otherwise, since I don't have it, I'm just going to go ahead and start with about a half a teaspoon of powdered allspice. 
because all of these ingredients can be um, adjusted to your own liking. If you decide you don't like as much allspice, cut it back a little bit. If you want more orange scent, add a little bit more orange. These are just the basics, um, and they're very, very forgiving as far as tweaking goes. Then we're gonna cover this with two cups of water and heat it on high for till it comes to a light boil or a hard simmer, and that's when we will turn it down to a very slow simmer to where you're getting a good steam, but it's not actually bubbling that much. Just, just light bubbling and lots of steam. And you can keep it going. And as a matter of fact, if you want, um, I always start all my recipes with two cups of water because I don't really leave them simmering too long. I'll let them simmer maybe an hour and that's about how long it takes to evaporate the two cups. You can actually use more, four, six, even eight cups. Well, that might be good. You, if you use like a big pot of water, if you have like a wood stove and you want to just keep it going all the time, you can use a big pot of water, but then maybe double the recipe for the um, the ingredient, the uh, the fruit and the spices and that. <laughs> My mind just went blank for a minute there. Um, but yeah, so just keep this going as long as you want to, and just keep an eye on it to make sure that the uh, water is not evaporating too much, and just see if it needs more. And, you can keep it going multiple days. Um, usually, like if you keep it, keep it going on a wood stove, like all the time, I think it'd be good for two or three days. And then you may want to replenish your spices and start over or just add little bits of stuff in there as time goes on. So, but anyway, yeah, I can, I'm already starting to smell it. It is really good. Now I need some old cider. <laughs> I could sure go for some. Anyway, so that'll be it for today. Thanks again for joining me, and we will see you in my next video. Until then, take care, and God bless, and enjoy your simmer pot.